Welcome back to another Scribus tutorial. In this video, we're going to be learning how to use align and distribute. So this is going to help us line up different items, different uh, whatever we have. If we have a text frame or an image frame or shapes, whatever we have, we can uh, align them to each other or to certain parts of the page. So to get to the align and distribute window, we click on Windows here and we go to align and distribute. Just click and it brings up this box called align and distribute. We've got align as a tab, we have distribute as a tab, and then we have swap as a tab. So first we'll look at align. So under align we have relative to, and then selected guide, uh, and then some different buttons we can do here, and then align sides by, we got move resize, we'll keep that at move for now. So let's say for example we have this, and we want this to be in the top left corner of our, of our margin, of this blue line. Well we can say relative to the margins, Let's have the selected item go and touch the left. So align right sides of the item to the left side of the anchor, which our anchor is this blue margin. So if we click this, it should send this over here. Oh, I did, oh, I did it backwards. So we actually want the other one. We want this one here. No, what do we want? I did it wrong. We want this one here. Okay. So this is the one. So it kind of shows like a little visual representation of what it is I should have known. And so if we want it to be on the right-hand side, we click this. If we want it to be in the center, we click this icon here. And so the icon just shows, and if you hover over, it tells you this one centers on the horizontal axis. So the horizontal axis, uh, axis of these frames are going to be right here, um, of the margin, is going to be here. Let's take this back up to the top left corner by hitting those buttons. And then this one, if we want it to be we, uh, top right, we go top right. And it goes there. Maybe this text we want to be uh, in the bottom and right. And this image we want to be in the bottom left. Uh, and then, so we can do all these different things. Well, this has so far been relative to the margins. We can also do it relative to the page. If we do relative to the page, it's going to go all the way over to the outside of the page, right to the edge. I don't think we have bleed set up, but we can, we can do relative to the, I don't know if we can do relative to bleed. I guess we can't. But we can set guides or relative to, to the selection we could do sometimes. So if selection is if we have, if we hold down the shift key and select these three. So the selection of all these three basically will just center all three of them to each other. If we hit this, it'll center them along the horizontal axis. And if we hit this, it'll center them along the vertical axis. But it's not the vertical axis of the page, it's the vertical axis of all of all three of them. It just aligns all three of their vertical axis axi, uh, along with each other. And then we can drag and move them around. Um, yeah. So that's, the, that's kind of the way that works. Um, we can also say first selected and last selected. So this is relative to the first item selected. So if I want everything to be lined up with this, I select this one first. Then I hold down the shift key and select a bunch of different items here. And I say everything needs to line up to the left of this. So I hit this, and this object stays the same place, but all the rest of them line up along the left side boundary of this object. So that's the align and distribute uh, tool panel. Oh, and then I want to show you too, as far as distribute goes, uh, we've just been aligning before, so these are all still selected. So we can distribute them as well. And distribute just spaces them out evenly between certain points. So if we want to space out, say, I'll, I'll just do this picture and this text. So I'll hold down Shift and select these three. It'll, it'll put even space between the centers. Well, let's do, between, uh, let's do between the edges of these. So like this one here or this one here. It just kind of distributes these evenly. This is along the centers, but it's sort of off because these shapes aren't the same size. So there's a center and then an even amount of space to the center then an even amount of space to the center, if that makes sense. Uh, and then swap, we can just like swap. I think we just select two and we can actually just swap these two objects with each other if we wanted to. So that is the align and distribute uh, different options we have. Go ahead and play with that because you use that a lot when you're trying to get things. And another option, or another option, another good thing when you're trying to get your layout to work properly, we can come over here to um, page and turn on snap. So we, we can say snap to item. So it's on snap to grid now, which you might have noticed it'll snap to this blue and stay there kind of nice. But we can also turn on go to page and go snap to items. 
then our items will also snap to each other. So if we ever want to have these corners touch, it'll, it'll they'll kind of snap to each other pretty well. Oh, oh, I did snap to grid. Sorry. Go to page. No, I just snapped to item. I don't know why it's drawing these, these green lines here. Oh, I see. It's drawing a green line between all these different items. So if I want these two items, it'll draw a kind of a green line towards the bottom of these, but it's also showing me there's an item here that you're the, you're lined up with. So basically, it just shows you reference to other items, and it kind of pauses for a second when you get to a certain point to kind of snap in to that point. So you can turn those on or off. Sometimes they bother me, so I turn them off, but you can turn them on or off as needed. Appreciate you watching this video. Hopefully you found it informative. Go ahead and like, subscribe, leave comments below, and I'll catch you on the next video.